Hey everybody, Cincy Thief. Uh, doing a little bit of trenching here with the shovel, and I'm gonna bury my cable underground over there for my uh, radio. Uh, I noticed that my, my noise floor drops to like one or two versus running it across the skyline there to the tree. So it's all going underground now. Um, I'm gonna use cheap cable RG8X uh, for the HF and then I'll use the LMR 400 for the, the two meter, 70 centimeter, whatever. Um, my theory is there's moles. Well, yeah, actually I know there's moles. Let me zoom in here. Somewhere in there. There's a mole hole, but I can't see. There it is, right in the middle. I went ahead and put a bunch of cayenne pepper in there, and then I'll cover the cable with it as well. I don't know if that'll help. Uh, some online says it does. Some online says it doesn't. Who knows? But I have a vector network analyzer, so if they bite through it, uh, one's cheap, one isn't. It costs more to buy, buy plumbing. Uh, what I want to do is steel, which will rust anyway. I was going to use fence line. I'm just going to bury it. It's direct burial. Um, the RG8X is not direct burial, but the LMR400 is. But you have to heck with it. If I get a problem with it, as long as the vinyl case is on it, intact, you should be okay. But if they bite through it, you know, it's cheap. Um, the LMR, I'll just uh, patch if I have to, but we'll see. And then I'm going to, before I put this thing back together, I'm going to run my truck over it and uh, run the gas thing in there for gophers and uh or moles i guess take care of everybody underground but i don't want them biting through the cable so that's one of my concerns but like i said i have a, ve a vector network analyzer so if there becomes a problem the coax and i will do a video on that eventually but if there's a problem with coax i'll know exactly how many feet down the line it is i was a really cheap one a nano vna or something i think i paid about 50 bucks for it maybe i don't i don't remember but it's still sitting in the box, you know, like most things. <sighs> anyway, we're going to see how this works. I don't know. I'll report back in a few years or if there's ever a problem. Um, there's chickens all over the place now. So, I haven't seen moles in a long time. I believe the chickens are eating all the grubs and stuff that the moles are going after. All the bugs and all that. And I've also got some uh, chemical spray where I run the coax for, uh, you know, to keep the, the insects down so there's no, uh, no food for the moles and stuff to go after. And let's take roots because, you know, we have them mowing the lawn and stuff because I don't want to, my cables tangled up in the lawnmower blades. That would be most unfortunate. <laughs> but I just got here and then I'll run, like, so I'll run one to the left of the tree over there where I have the, the RG56 and then I'm going to run over here where I got the, uh, I forget. I don't have it up yet, but uh, it's a big AM antenna. Uh, it's two meters, uh, 70 centimeters, and I guess 222, but it does um, like 8 or 15 dB gain. Uh, it's a vertical. Um, uh, it's a $100 antenna. I forget what it's called. It's really cheap. It's fiberglass, and basically it's a loaded whip. Um, I got to put together. I got a satellite mount. This mount on the side of the tree. Where we'll still have lightning protection and set on top of the roof. It wouldn't be the tallest thing, but lightning protection is kind of a cone. It protects, uh, you know, twice the diameter of the height or something like that. It's like a cone. I mean, it's a mathematical, but it doesn't really work that way, but it kind of does. So <clears throat> I'm putting on the tree. And since trees are invisible to RF, as far as I know, it shouldn't affect anything. <sighs> My mouth is all swollen today. I had an allergic reaction to something last night. My tongue's all swollen. I don't know what. Anyway. That's it for today's NCP. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to get on here and I got that UVX radio I want to test. I got together last night, but my antenna hasn't been up because of the lightning storm. So I thought I'd do this today and then we'll try to get that video out tonight or tomorrow or something. I play on it. We'll see. All right. NCP. Everybody have a good one. And if you see an outright flaw in what I'm doing, let me know and I'll correct it on the next go around. Because <laughs> this, this part will be on the ground today. Maybe I won't protect the stuff outside the fence. You know. But um, I don't feel like trenching really anyway. But like I said, I filled this thing full of cayenne pepper. Did I, did I say that? I don't know. Cayenne pepper to deter the moles. Um, Some place on the internet said that works. Some said it doesn't. Who knows? Who knows? 
I'm gonna work on three axes. Uh, deterrent, remove the uh, temptation for the feeding, and uh, you know, pesticides, I guess. Maybe I'll get some of those mole repellers too, but the ultrasonic ones, I'll have to see if they interfere with my lines or not. I don't know. Anyway, it's an SCP. Have a great one. I'm out.